Alright, we're gonna be showing you how to do cal overclocking. For that, you're gonna need two equally powerful engines. They don't need to be equally powerful, but it's helpful if there are a couple of cal controllers. A command pod of some sort. <clears throat> Alright, engine 1, engine 2. Just kind of clip that up there. Call overclocker 1. Just going to put that there. Now go to action groups, cal controller. We're going to do the negative thrust engine first, just so we, they don't get messed up. Thrust limiter. And then we do the positive thrust second thrust limiter. Open track editor. So this is going to be the negative thrust one. So the negative thrust engine, bring that up, then we take the, I mean it doesn't need to go up, but we're just doing that to make it easier. Take this arm all the way down, secondly, all the way down, now we check the thrust limiter, and it'll be like negative, like a lot. Positive thrust engine, so this is going to be 10 times power, so we're going to bring that up, 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 like that until the thrust limiter is set to about a thousand. There we go. Set the time to the playback speed to zero. So that's all set up for that. Now we're going to be doing some more setup in the actual action group so we can use this properly. So we're going to hit the cal controller. Custom action group one shall be ten times the power. Play sequence enable controller. And then we're going to have three different thrust powers in total so we're going to go to action group 2 stop sequence disable controller and custom group 3 disable controller stop sequence and then we're going to go to here title it just going to say cal cal overclock test put the command pod on I'm going to move it away a little bit you can hold shift to move them things really far. Save that. And launch it. As you can see, the engine is way more powerful than it would normally be. Ten times more powerful, in fact. Alright, now we're going to work on the 100 times more powerful color clocker. So we're just going to copy this one. Actually, no, we're not going to copy it. We're just going to make a new one. So, same thing. Go to cowl controller number two. Negative thrust engine first, positive thrust engine second. Open track editor. Slide that negative thrust one all the way down, and the positive, er, and that one all the way down as well. Now this one's going to be a hundred times more powerful, so the thrust limiter is going to be ten thousand. Yeah, close enough. Whatever. But as you can see, the negative thrust limiter is way more than the positive one, so we'll never run out of fuel. Set the time to zero, or this playback speed to zero. And then we're going to do the same thing as, we, as the other one in the action groups. Enable controller, 
play sequence, and then for number one, stop sequence, disable, and number three, stop sequence, disable. So now when we go to launch, we should be able to switch between 10 and 100 times power by hitting 1 and 2. So we're going to first hit 1 just so it doesn't immediately like explode. And then 2, as you can see, the thrust limiter changes. Yeah, it's pretty unstable, but that's because we're in atmosphere. Now we're going to add a third one. And then this one's going to be a thousand times power. So it'll be kind of ridiculous. Negative first, positive second. Open track editor. So that one's going to be 100,000%, let's see, what's that, 300,000, okay. Bring that down to 100,000, and it's close enough, all right. The negative one is higher than the positive one, so it'll not run out of fuel. So save that. And then we go to the action groups. Action group three, play sequence. Enable controller, action group 2, stop sequence, disable controller, action group 1, disable controller, and stop sequence. Now, this would work for all up, you can do up to 10 of these, or more with custom action groups, but you just kind of make it, but it just gets really tedious the more you have. So let's try that out. One, two, three. Ooh, what the heck was that? Oh, I forgot to set the play speed to zero. There we go. I'm gonna revert flight to vehicle assembly and then set the play speed to zero. One, two, three. So yeah. So this is 10 times power. We're losing electric charge just because this engine does not generate electric electricity. 100 times power. 1,000. Oh, 1,000 might be a little bit too much. But anyway, you can see how that works.